Hello, and welcome back to Feelings, Feeling, Feelings. Oh my gosh, it has been months. <laughs> it has been months since my last episode upload. I have reasons, okay? <laughs> First off, shout out to all my friends who keep asking, hey, where are your episodes? And we need more, blah, blah, blah. You guys are the real MVPs because, you know, it gets hard sometimes and you forget that you want to do stuff and, you know, that you have dreams because it's just easier not to do it. So thank you to all my friends. You know who you are. The ones who are just like, come on, we like it. Put it out. Love you guys. I feel like my last episode was in, it had to be in summertime. Because I think my last episode was with my friend Paul. And that day he helped me set up my record player that he got for my birthday. And my birthday is in May. So I feel like my last episode was in June. So that's a while. I am literally a totally different person now, which is crazy. So much has happened. Oh my, like literally so much has happened. This episode will just kind of be like an update episode. Why am I? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. My camera, I made it vertical for TikTok when I'm posting this to YouTube, so it's horizontal. So everyone who's watching me right now, this is about to flip because I'm silly, stupid. Hold on. Okay. It's been so long. I literally don't even know how to handle my equipment. <laughs> I don't even know if it's vertical or horizontal. I don't even know where I am, to be honest. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Uh, she is a mess, quite literally. Um, but she's good. I am doing pretty well. Life is good. Uh, it took a lot for me to get here, to be honest. And those were those months I took off. I stopped posting for a while just because I, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I was depressed. I was very, very depressed. And I just didn't have the bandwidth to keep posting and recording feelings, feelings, feelings. Um, even though I missed it so much, I literally love like, it's crazy how you stop doing the things you love whenever you're, you know, going through it. But it makes sense because, you know, you want to put all the focus on yourself to make sure you're okay and, you know, feel your feelings. But now I have so much new content for you guys to talk about because I've learned so much about myself. I took a pause because I was super depressed. I was crying every day and I had no idea why. It was so weird because I would literally be around my friends or, you know, like doing stuff at work or on set or being with my sister, or my like, you know, my friends or whatever. And I would be totally fine. The second I got into my car, I would burst out crying and I would literally cry so hard in my car, like driving. And I it's crazy thinking about it now because it was just like so long ago. But don't worry. I'm OK now. I mean, I'm still going through it. I'm still figuring it out, but I am so much better than I was a few months ago. Like, it's crazy. So uh, let me just do a quick update of everything else. So, you know, I was really depressed and down. And then like, after a while, you know, I kind of was just like, Oh, my God, I need to figure out how to get out of this. Um, I ended up talking to my sister, Mary Lou, shout out. Um, she helped me talk to a psychiatrist and a therapist and do all that good stuff. Because like I kept saying I was going to do it. I mean, I even said it in last season. Like I kept being like, I want to go to a therapist. I want to go to a therapist, but I literally never would go because I was too scared. <laughs> so my sister, thank God, thank Gaga. She, you know, was like, I'm going to go on the phone with you. We're going to call them together. You're just going to give them your information and I will be there to handle everything else which honestly was such a blessing, like literally, because it's so scary, especially when you're in it, you know, like whenever you're depressed and like, or going through whatever, like it's hard for you to, what well, one, it was hard for me to admit it. Okay. I did not want to admit that I was depressed with my, all my soul. Cause I'm like, no, I got this. Like I, I know how to do this. I, you know, figuring it out. No bitch. I was depressed. And I actually talked to a psychiatrist and like therapist and Basically, I got diagnosed with major depressive disorder, along with PTSD and some other stuff that I'm not uh, ready to talk about yet. But the major depressive disorder, like really like it was a shock. I was in shock for maybe like five minutes and then I felt relief. I literally felt relief from hearing those words because it just made me feel less crazy. I felt like, OK, like there is a reason why I am crying all the time. This isn't who I am. Things have happened to me and that's okay because now I am aware and I have to figure it out. 
and I could heal from there, you know? So I think like heal, like me just being aware that I am actually sad. I'm actually like, you know, feeling everything I'm feeling. It sucked to hear that I was like, I had major depressive disorder. Okay. Not just like you're depressed. Like, no, you have major depressive disorder. Um, it was a shock, but yeah, it, it just felt good to, you know, have something to pinpoint it to. Cause now I could go from there. I could do research, read the right books, take the right medicine. They also put me on antidepressants, which honestly have been the MVP of the last month. Like I for sure feel much better whenever I started to take them and I'm still on them. Um, if you're interested, I'm on Wellbutrin. Um, and I literally, <laughs> it has changed my life. And even my friends have pointed it out. Um, they're just like, wow, ever since you started taking it, it's like, I could like handle my sadness more, if that makes sense. Like, yes, I, I mean, I've been through shit, so I'm sad no matter what, like it's going to come and go, but I for sure can handle it better now that I'm on antidepressants. Bless, bless the antidepressant gods. I know some people don't like it. I had some friends where they try talking about it. I'm like, no, 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 this is my journey, not yours. I don't need any opinions because it's working for me. And for anyone else who is interested on getting anti on antidepressants or, you know, like have other people, you know, other people's opinion <laughs> coming at you, you do you, you know your body best. They don't know what's going on in your mind. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure some people in my life just think I'm sensitive and overdramatic and like blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, you don't know what I've been through. You have no idea what I've been through. Like, I don't know what you've been through. So you know, there's some things you have to journey alone and figure out on your own. I also am like super focused now. Like that has been the biggest thing I've noticed ever since taking my antidepressants is that like I can sit down, work on something and finish it, right? The next thing I could work, sit down, work on it and finish it. Like I'm just very like organized now instead of like, <laughs> Zach always says I have ADHD, but I don't know if that's, if I really do, but I do have those symptoms of being like, oh, what's this? Oh, it's that. Oh, it's this. Like I jump around. You should hear me on the phone <laughs> of my conversations. I'm like, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. But it has for sure helped me just kind of like slow down and just like focus on one thing at a time. One thing funny, <laughs> this is so stupid, but I love saying it. <laughs> the first time I ever took my antidepressants, I think it was in September, one of those months. I'm pretty sure it was September. Anyways, the first time I ever took it, I literally felt so focused. I don't know if you guys ever seen Twilight. I forgot. I think it's called Breaking Dawn Part 2. The the last, the very, very, very last movie. At the beginning, okay, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry because I'm going to spoil it. Um, so stop listening. I'll give you a second. Okay, you had your chance. <laughs> so in the last movie at the beginning, you know, Bella turns into a vampire. <laughs> This is so stupid. Bella turns into a vampire and she is like, she opens her eyes and she's super focused. Like her eyes like zoom in and sees like flowers blooming and like she sees dust flying and like all this stuff. And I swear to God, that is the only thing I can compare it to when I took it for the first time. It's not like that anymore, but I'm pretty sure like uh, my body's more balanced with it now. But I literally was like, I could zoom into stuff. Like zoom, zoom. It was a cool feeling, honestly, but... Anyways, random fun fact of how I felt on antidepressants. But yeah, so far, I recommend it for anyone who's interested. Uh, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what you need. So figure it out yourself. Um, you know, get the help you need if you need the help. And yeah. Another thing I started doing, I actually went to therapy. Woo! Finally. Um, I actually started therapy with better help because Ariana Grande like they did like a three million dollar thing where like her fans could do better help for a month and I did that for a month and it was fine I just like I didn't personally like it and I have like health insurance so like I should use my health insurance um, and that's when my sister helped me get a therapist and like do the process I loved my therapist she it was so nice and so cool I actually am not seeing her anymore but I feel like I should I always say like I always say it in seasons I'm like I'm kind of ready for season two because in season one like we worked on the things that I needed to work on she helped me like understand like grieving and like the stages of grief with which that's a whole episode I could do like talking about stages of grief because I just never understood it 
And now I see it so clearly in every single part of my life. Like it's, it's crazy, but that we'll save that for another episode. But she taught me about that and like how I have to learn to accept things and, you know, move on and a bunch of other stuff. But, um, after a while, you know, she was like, you know, it's up to you if you want to keep going or if, you know, you want to take what you've learned and apply it to life. And I went that route. So right now I'm currently off, but now I'm like healing a whole new set of things. <laughs> I'm currently healing the uh, relationship part of me. So, and I told her, I was like, I'm probably going to need to talk to you whenever I get into like the relationship part of me, like, you know, like romantic relationships. Cause you know, like ugh, I, I'm going to talk about this a lot anyways, cause it's what I'm healing right now. But like, I was in an abusive relationship when I was younger and I never looked at it. I never looked at it until now. So I'm like, let me figure it out. And then I'll come back with an episode on that. But yeah, that was fine. Yeah, I loved my therapist and I miss her. I wonder if she's listening. If you're listening, I love you. I won't say your name for like, you know, privacy or whatever. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking so fast. I literally just jumped right into this. Like, I'm sorry, I'm going like at super speed, but I'm honestly just so excited to be sitting here and actually like setting up and doing it because like every day I've tried to do this and I'm like, nah, it's not the day. It's not the day. Today was the day and I'm so excited. And I got like, I got new lights. I got some tripods. I got like, um, some new cords to make it all easier. Cause I was like, I just need to make it a more easier, flawless process. So I can just record it, you know, with no excuses, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, life has been pretty good lately. There was one week where I literally was shook. I'm like, everything in my life is okay. I was like, everything is good. It kind of was like, I was sus about it. I'm like, I'm okay. Why? Why? <laughs> Which that show, you know, that goes to show that like, I'm not, but, <laughs> but that week was good. And then I jumped straight into more healing. Cause I'm like, I just want to, you know, go through it and like do all the hard stuff because obviously healing is not like, there's no end to that process. I, I think, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm not at the end yet, but I feel like it's like a ongoing journey with yourself, which I kind of like because even though the healing journey sucks, it sucks and it's painful and like, uh, yeah, it's just like sad. Honestly, like I love it. I love coming out the other side and just like feeling okay and like, or not even just feeling okay, but like loving myself more. I feel like the healing process for me, it's like I've always come out of certain things being like one forgiving of myself of my past and like just like loving myself and like understanding my worth that's a new thing I'm on right now like I mean all of all of this is literally just understanding my worth because I feel like things in my past have made me feel unworthy which is crazy because now I just like kind of understand I'm like no I'm a bad bitch like and not even just saying that because that's like a cool thing to say it's like no like I like I'm talented, I'm like creative, I'm nice, I'm kind, I'm pretty, like, and you know, the list goes on. And even though like, I'm saying this right now, like tomorrow, I might be so like, insecure about myself. So it comes in waves. <laughs> but I'm just getting better at understanding these things about myself. And I want you to understand it about you too. Okay. This is a journey for us all to go on together. I just want to be so confident in myself where if let's just say I get rejected, or, you know, something doesn't work out, like I don't have like I want my confidence and um, my, what is it called? Why can't I think right now? I want my self-worth to be just unshakable. So it's like, if something doesn't work out, like for example, whenever I'm insecure, let's just say I get rejected by a boy or something doesn't work out. Like I'm like, oh my God, he doesn't like me because like my body or he doesn't like me because like I'm too like outgoing and loud, you know, like when it has nothing to do with me. So I just, I'm getting to a point now and I'm working up to a point to where I am just like, I unshakably love myself. So it's like, if I do get rejected or whatever, I'm like, okay, like that's fine. I'm just not their cup of tea and I'm probably a cup of tea for someone else, you know? And like, even just like understanding that I don't have to pick the narcissist because <laughs> I used to love them. I don't know why. It's just because it was easy and I was an easy prey for them. So it was just all easy. Um, yeah, that's, that's fun. But, <laughs> but now I'm understanding. I'm like, no, I deserve you know, a really amazing guy who also has all these amazing traits that I do. And like, we could balance each other and like, and that I've never, I've never felt that like where I'm like, oh, I deserve a great guy. And like, they deserve me because I don't know. Yeah. 
Fun fact, I haven't had a boyfriend in 10 years, probably longer. Yeah, ever since that abusive relationship. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'll give you a little now. It's crazy. I've never been in a relationship since then because I just like, I was like, no, I'm good. I tried it and I'm good. Um, And that one was like, obviously like really, really bad. So yeah, now I'm finally, I think because I've done all my healing the last year and a half and like understanding myself more and like forgiving myself for like things that weren't even my fault, but like, you know, just like being more understanding of you know like my inner child and like what I need and you know all that good stuff I think it's really important to understand yourself like really love yourself because I've always like loved myself like I have like love for myself but it was very surface level I think I said that last season but now you know I'm understanding that I don't know I just know what I deserve now basically and it's still you know again comes in waves but I just want everyone to understand that and feel that I'm trying to think what else happened in the time off that I did. So some other things that I actually went through on the time off whenever like I took off was uh, I think the last, I don't know if I said it on the podcast at the end, but I started vlogging again and like doing fashion videos on YouTube. And one thing, which is so crazy to me, my dream, my dream was to become a YouTuber, a successful YouTuber. And then like I started making like I tried to go in on vlogs and like fashion videos. And then like one day I was just like, oh, my God, I don't want to do this. Like I had to let go of that dream because that dream was for my 16 year old self. My younger self wanted that so bad. And then one day I like realized I'm like, I don't even like doing this. Like, why am I doing this? So I think letting go of a dream you always had, like it was really hard for me. I really had to set my ego aside because my ego was like, no, we have to do this. You said you're going to do this. Like I'm very, that's how my mindset is, which is stupid. But yeah, that took a lot of work for me and like gut for me to like, be like, all right, I'm, I'm done with YouTube. Even if you're watching this, you're on, you know, you're watching on my YouTube channel, but you know, like in a YouTuber form, like where I'm like doing hauls and, you know, even vlogs, even though I like doing vlogs still, but like on my TikTok, but it's, I don't think of it as like, I have to upload every week. So Thank God, because I literally like once I decided I'm not a YouTuber anymore, or I didn't want to be a YouTuber, like I had such a giant weight lifted off of me. Like it was crazy. I didn't even realize that I put so much pressure on me to want to become a successful YouTuber because I just realized that's not what I want. And like, that's not who I am. I don't even want to be like an influencer or anything like that anymore. Like I never really wanted to be. But I guess some my ego part wanted that because that's like what all my friends are doing. That's what all the cool kids are doing. And that was like an easy way for me to be successful because I can do those things. But now, like I think because literally ever since I started working on myself internally, like I'm just like, wow, the things I thought I want aren't even me. Those are things that the outside world is getting and I just see it and I see them happy and successful and I think I want those things. Once I started learning about myself, I was like, I don't even want those things. Like I want to do like this podcast and like help people and like tell them about my healing journey and like my life journey and stuff. Because to me, vulnerability is the magic power, honestly. (laughs) And it is. My friend Patrick, he has a saying where he says life opens up when you do. And that shit, that shit slaps. Like it is the truth. It is the truth. Like vulnerability is the magic power that will set you free. Like if you're open and talk to someone, like say, for example, me being depressed, no one knew I was depressed. I hid that shit so good. And then finally, like I called my sister one day and I was just like, I can't do it alone anymore. And then once, you know, I opened up to her, I even opened up to her the other day, like in a crazy intense way that I've never told anyone certain things. And like ever since that, like life has been so good, like opening up to someone like, you know, like you could get help, you know, they could be there to support you. Just someone knowing your insecurities and like things that you're scared to say out loud, even to yourself, honestly, is like so powerful. It's insane. It's insane. So I'm not saying you have to do it, but like if you're going through something, please open up to someone if you can, someone you trust. You can even write me in the messages not saying I have any answers, but I'm just, I would, I will totally be there to support you and have your back and, you know, help you in any way I can. But 
for sure, like, you know, life opens up when you do. So do it. (laughs) I have to get ready for a party that I'm going to. My friend Danica is throwing um, a Halloween Christmas. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) My brain got real mixed up. My friend Danica, she's throwing a Friendsmas. Is that how you say it? A Christmas for a friend's. Um, Harry Potter themed, which she did last year, but I feel like this year she's going in in. So I have to get ready for that really quick. But I just wanted to keep this one short and sweet and get one, the first episode just out of the way so I can fucking finally start. And two, just like give you a quick update. I'm for sure going to give you more details on things whenever I'm talking with someone because you know, talking to myself is kind of like silly. I don't know why, <laughs> but I like it like bouncing off people and stuff like that. Um, and I'm so excited because like all my friends are so excited to come on the podcast and chat and that just makes my heart so happy just because you know like I just well one I love like deep conversations and talking about stuff but it's cool that they want you know they want to be on my podcast oh that's so cute oh and shout out to people who I was on their Spotify wrapped I literally cried (laughs) I was like wait what that was so cool and that honestly gave me um (laughs) what is the word the inspiration to be like, okay, like that is what I want to do because I am making an impact in people's lives. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I'm like, wow, some like some of the episodes are like an hour long and y'all sit through it. So thank you to everyone that's listened to the podcast so far. I am so excited to get back on it. I'm hoping to not stop again. I just want to keep it going, but you know, life happens. So I'm human you know, so it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. But just know I love you. And just to close this episode out really quick, even though like 2021 has been my most like emotional, draining, like hardest year of my life, I think. Honestly, I think it's been the hardest year of my life. Um, Emotionally, especially even just like everything because, you know, my insides are my outsides now. So it has been wild, but it's crazy because it's been my favorite year so far. <laughs> Is that weird? Like when I think back to all the hard times, me crying, like thinking like the world was ending and like just being like, oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, and but it's still my favorite year because I am now like way more confident. I understand myself more, like I'm more open again. And I'm just, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm just like really proud of myself and you know, I'm excited now to share everything I've learned with you guys and hope I help, you know, in any way. As always, you know, like whatever I say, take what resonates with you. It might not apply to you, but I'm just like, I'm being vulnerable and open. So, you know, you could take what you want, but don't think I don't have all the answers. Okay. I'm still, I'm literally forever going to keep learning. I'm just sharing what what I've been learning. But anyways, I'm very proud of myself, but yeah, I cannot wait to keep doing episodes and learning along the way and bringing in friends. Um, but yeah, I forgot how I end this. Do I just say bye? I don't know. I guess. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to say like, um, make sure you go to my Instagram feelings, 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 feelings. Oh, I haven't said that in so long. And you know, follow us, follow us. Who's us? Follow me there and subscribe to this podcast and if you're on the youtube channel subscribe to the youtube channel and follow me on spotify and let me know you're listening because that's cute i always like because to me i'm like no one's listening like i'm just doing this for myself but that's okay too okay anyways love you bye thank you for listening to this episode of feelings feeling feelings i hope your feelings are feeling something right now make sure you follow at feelings 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 on instagram to join the feelings 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 community i just want to remind you you are magical you are beautiful and i love you now go drink a glass of water and tell yourself you love you in the mirror